Nature is adorned with scenic beauty and in the same lap of nature are some small creatures that are loved by many. Butterflies. They are insects with large colorful wings covered with tiny scales. Butterflies and moths are a part of the insect order Lepidoptera which contains over 1,50,000 species or its kinds. Moths are the evolutionary ancestors of butterflies with a fossil record dating back at least 150 million years. About 100 million years ago, some moths became active during the day and also developed brighter colors. These characteristics proved successful and butterflies were born. One of the most interesting things about the butterflies is their unique life cycle, which is called metamorphosis. There are four stages in the cycle. Egg Larva Pupa and the grown-up butterfly. After mating, the female lays her eggs in small clusters on the leaves or stems of a certain plant. Some place the eggs on the underside of leaves to protect them from other insects or predators. When the egg hatches, the larva emerges. After hatching, the caterpillar eats the egg as its first meal. Caterpillars also consume huge quantities of leaves and they are very specific about which plants they will eat. They eat as much as 27,000 times their body weight to support their lives as flying insects. Some have sharp spines or prickly hairs on their bodies to detect predators while still others have circles or spots. When the caterpillar reaches its full size, it attaches itself to a stem from which it hangs upside down. It then sheds its skin one last time and the old skin hardens almost immediately and becomes a tough shell called a chrysalis. This is called the pupa. It neither moves nor feeds. When the butterfly breaks through the now soft shell, its wings are wet and crumpled and it must rest while it expands its wings and pumps them full of blood. A butterfly's body is made up of three parts. Head, thorax and abdomen and is covered by tiny sensory hair. They also have two large compound eyes which are made up of an array of thousands of individual eyes, each with a tiny lens and a tiny fraction of view. Butterflies are believed to have the widest visual range of any animal. On its head are two long antenna which it uses as feelers to touch and to smell things. The colorful patterns on a butterfly wings comes from millions of tiny scales that cover it. These colors are produced by chemical pigments or by the physical structure of individual scales known as photonic crystals. Every butterfly has its unique pattern and color that differentiates it from other butterflies. For example, Crimson Rose is red and Common Crow is brown. Different butterfly species have different shaped wings that make each fly in a different manner. Those with large wings flap and make long glides, while those with wide wings flutter. Those with long, thin wings fly the fastest 
and those with short triangular wings can dart about very quickly. Butterflies are very sensitive to changes in climate. They fly only in places where there is sufficient sunlight. They cannot fly if their body temperature is less than 86 degrees. Plants are essential to all stages of the butterfly life cycle. Adult butterflies feed on the nectar of flowers and lay their eggs on the leaves of host plants. Though they may select plants first by leaf, shape or colour, often they confirm a plant's identity by tasting it with their feet. Butterflies are attracted to a plant because of the presence of a particular chemical. For example, the blue tiger and the striped tiger get attracted to the plant containing ferrurodicine which is then passed to the female butterfly while mating. These butterflies feed on the plants voraciously to the extent of resulting in tiny holes on the leaves. After a certain period of time, the plant slowly dries up and dies. Butterflies don't eat, they only drink. They have a long tube-like tongue called proboscis that allows them to soak up their food rather than sip it. The birth of a butterfly is one of nature's most astonishing miracles. But it's sad that they don't live for long. Depending on the species, their average lifespan varies between 15 days to 2 months, after which their wings start rotting and they die. Butterflies play out several important ecological roles. Thus, it is very important to conserve them. And the Banarghatta Biological Park in Bengaluru does that where different species of butterflies are kept and provisions are made for the healthy breeding. Mr. Loknak, an entomologist, tells us more about the importance of butterflies. Butterflies are the best bioindicators. In the food cycle, it's a food for other birds. But these little creatures now seem to be under threat and are decreasing in number. 20 to 30 percent of species is common under existing. Endangered ones. So few species become released, and some of them are in endangered species, and some other are vulnerable species. So like this is decreasing now. So next time you see a lava munching on leaves or see them floating around your yard, remember that these little flying creatures are much more than just mere insects. These are indeed the little miracles of nature. <laughs>